and here it is painted. Came out looking pretty good. I about lost my voice here. You guys have to bear with me, but it smells good in the shop here today. Uh, the reason is is because of the new paint. New paint always smells quite nice. I am actually pretty surprised uh, how this came out looking. Uh, our climate is challenging, but we finally had one decent warm-up here over the weekend, so I was able to get the thing painted and did my best. Uh, there are a couple run spots. Uh, I noticed one right here on the marker. Um, had two heaters going on this for about three or four hours, and then uh, shut everything off so it didn't blow up as we were painting it, but then we went ahead and painted it. Uh, came out looking pretty decent um, a couple runs the back of the toolbar here I really didn't care about the back of the toolbar too much because that's gonna you know, be like solid mounting brackets and u-bolts you'll never even really see it again and for that fact you'll never even really see up in here again either so but yeah looks better with a coat of paint on it so now we can start assembling cool it's coming together I've been sick several times this winter, just part of the joys of things that come home from the daycare. So I'll try to put together this voiceover and tell you what we've been doing. As you can see it, the tanks are going back in, the ladders are going together, stairway is going on, and some decals started. There's the CCS fan assembly blower motors. And here's a little quick walk around of the platform. Uh, it came out really nice. This is how it, it looks and you can uh, cap off that uh, handrails there that I made and there's the steps give them the maiden voyage came out really nice lots more little detailed things to do but I'm quite happy with the way things look well the paint's cured a little bit more and we're putting things together got the uh, CCS fan there mounted blower back on my toe kicks on handrails Came out about perfect there was the tank. Trying to pay attention to detail. Steps done. Okay, the tires are on. Firestone Traction Field and Road 21.5L 16.1s. Why did we go with this size tire? Well, the original tires were 16.5L 16.1s. Um, that would be the base series and you'd have a 18.4161 which is ironically what's on that spiker and then the 21.5 L161 all in the same series of tire um, very similar diameter um, all same family of tire this is the biggest and widest uh, we really couldn't change a the diameter these planters are actually recommended I use a three inch step stop we're going to use a one inch but that gets your toolbar to the right height for the row units. Uh, so we had to stay within the same diameter just to keep your planting height and everything, or very similar diameter, but these raised at about uh, an inch over the factory tire. And depending on which tire you buy, there's a lot of discrepancies to height. Anyway, it's still track row width, and they have a 14 ply uh, higher load carrying capacity than the implement tread version now. The only other thing that was in the same diameter class as these that were wider, more flotation tires, such as a 710-22 or like a 650, I forget the model numbers, some odd uh, metric sizes by Alliance Tire, but you're talking tires that are probably three to $5,000 per tire, so that was just not going to be budgetable. 
So I went with what I thought would work at the best price. Uh, this is a lot more load carrying capacity than what came on at the factory. And the reason we went with the bar tread tire is because my, uh, my history with farming and using a 21L uh, tire, the wider the flotation, you get a little grease on our hillsides and you'll look back and your implement's doing about a 45 degree swing downhill. So if you're planting, say for example, and we have a couple hillsides this way, and yes, tile would, would solve that, but just say the ground's greasy, but you're not engaged in the ground, the tool can slide around. I'm hoping these will eliminate that and just track the ground better, as well as be more stubble resistance as this will mainly be used to plant soybeans, although it can plant corn too. Or at least that's the idea I had. If you don't like them, go build your own machine. Anyway, there's the CCS tanks. You can see the front and back and the toolbar. Everything's coming out looking real good, or at least in my opinion it is. Real happy with the progress. And still waiting on a few decals and other little parts to show up from John Deere, but now we're into the tedious work, which there's many, many boxes of parts and things to go on this yet. The exact merge kit, there's just a lot that goes into it. Uh, we did get all the air plenums put together and the CCS fans all assembled, came out fitting uh, great, great. And now we're going to start on the boxes. This is part of the Puck kit, which is the product update or product performance update kit, which in a nutshell is the exact emerge uh, system for this planter. And if you're not familiar with exact emerge, stickers are on the tank there. Um, what that kit is, is basically it's the high speed row, row units. And I talked about that in the first video. So we're in the kits electrical kit, a hydraulic kit. 4G internet kit, and out of the electrical kit here is the main backbone harness. And uh, it's not light, it's, I would say, a good 40 pounds. And here we are starting to assemble and hang the row units. We'll start in the middle and work our way out. Unfortunately, there's three row units back ordered until April 1st, but they're guaranteed by that date. We're going to have the entire planter done 100% with those last three going on at the last minute. There's a lot to do between now and then, so hydraulics, all those boxes of stuff, which is just wiring. You cannot believe how much wiring and connections and other stuff there is on this kit. It's just, it blows my mind. So we got our work cut out for us uh, going forward here. And you're actually going to see those toolbars start to come to life and get turn, in, turn into a planter. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.